Good morning everybody. Um, so welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been, well I haven't been here in a long time so um, I've been vlogging on my uh, new vlog channel there but how are you all? Happy New Year. Um, I'm literally just going to be getting ready. I'm going to chat with you um, explaining what I'm going to be doing um, with my weight loss now. Um, so if you, I'll give you a little background um, as to what's happened in the past couple of years because I made this account in 2014. Um, my main goal, if you remember, was to lose all the weight so that I could get, um, be able to basically have a baby. I wanted to lose a lot of weight and be able to see all the benefits and stuff, basically. Um, but now. <laughs> I have a one-year-old. <laughs> um, I f uh, we decided to go for it and have another baby. I, w I was desperate. I really wanted another baby, and we had Oscar uh, in November last year, so he turned one this just gone November. Um, so yeah, I gained. Well, I ha I had gestational diabetes during that pregnancy, and um, I gained two stone in the end. I think. Um, I lost stone of it straight away I want to say um, and then I lost another half stone at the beginning so I was basically only half stone away from being where I needed to be um, but um, it was Christmas obviously then as well and then um, my dad actually had cancer um, we found, well, from the year before that, um, and basically we were told he was in remission, he was fine, he, not remission, is that the word? I'm not sure. Anyway, we were told he was fine, so he went back to work after like a year or so of being off. He was still saying he wasn't feeling great. Anyway, um, I don't know why I'm giving you the full story of this, but anyway, yeah, he ended up, um, he still had it and he was stage four. Um, so that Christmas we decided to spend it all together. My dad was actually, had been in, um, in hospital up until Christmas Eve and, um, he came home half past eight Christmas Eve night and then we all went to mum's and had Christmas there it's the first time we've actually all been together on Christmas day in years so we had Christmas lunch with them blah blah blah, blah. Um, anyway I didn't want going on about that um, so yeah I gained a bit of weight back then um, yeah um, and then in January I think it was dad went into the hospice um to try and get his pain under control and um yeah so he was in there i think it was the end of january i want to say that yeah it must have been because he was in there eight weeks um anyway we nearly lost him twice whilst he was in there um and so obviously we're all very stressed at this point. I'm going into the hospice with my two or three month old baby <laughs> when my son was in school because they're about 45 minute drive away from where I live. Um, but yeah, in the end, um, my dad passed, unfortunately. And um, so yeah, I, I'm an emotional eater. I don't deal with it well. Um, So yeah, that's, that. so the past year, well, since March, well, it's nearly a year now, isn't it? Um, I've been all over the place, to say the least, um, and just been trying to get on with it, really. I've gained all the weight back, so I'm at the same weight as I was now when I was full term with Oscar, which is not great at all. Um, so I'm just trying to lose some weight basically. 
and I'm, I'm not pushing myself and I'm not actually following a plan so um, my general idea is that basically I'm gonna, just going to healthy eat I'm not going to because the thing is if I set myself to a plan or if I set myself to a target I just I just can't do it I, I just sort of set myself up for failure already really um, so basically I'm just going to try my best and that's all I can do um, yeah <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do oh my god that blush is a little bit much isn't it Jesus Christ it's a bit dark anyway never mind um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna help you we all know the differences between um, basically just starting to try and make the right choices and try and have at least three meals a day because at the moment I just don't even have three meals a day I Simon works at shifts oh my god I've waffled on for six minutes already um, uh, 12 hour shifts so he's not here all day Alfie's in school now um, so I'm home all day with the baby. I'm not actually working at the moment. Um, so yeah, to stay home and look after the baby. Uh, totally lost my screen now. Um, yeah, so Alfie is in school now. I have two slip discs in my back, which is not great, um, and nerve damage down my leg, so I'm pretty much on constant watch, so putting my back out, etc. Um, but yeah, I, I get up in the mornings if it's a school day, and then I make the kids breakfast, whatever. Um, and whatnot, and then I take Alfie to school, and then I think, right, okay, I'll finally have some breakfast now. I suppose if Oscar's not already ready for a nap, so I'm not sorting him out or whatnot. Um, I'll just switch these over. But yeah, so then I. I I'll eat, maybe eat then, but then I don't really eat lunch with Oscar because obviously I make him lunch every day. And then by two or three o'clock I'm starving and I'm like, why am I so hungry? But obviously it's because I haven't eaten. And then I don't eat with Simon until eight o'clock at night either, so it's really a little bit of an awkward one. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's how it goes. And I'm not great at trying to eat my three meals, so I'm trying to make sure I'm at least eating my three meals, making sure my snacks are decent. Um... And things like that, really. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what more I can say than that. I'm just going to try and do my best. And in my eyes, you can't do no better than that. That's all you can do, really. Um, Simon is trying to lose weight as well, which helps a lot because we can support each other. I'm not good at eyebrows at all, so don't judge me. Um... So yeah, I mean, once these holidays are over now, it'll be a lot easier as well, because it's distraction, obviously, Alfie's at home at the moment, so we're at home and doing bits and bobs and whatnot, um, a lot of naughty food in the house still, but once we get back to normality, which is Alfie being in school and stuff, um, I feel like it'll be a lot easier because I can meal plan and well I can meal plan anyway but I mean Alfie doesn't eat with us um Oscar will eat our food but Alfie doesn't um eat with us so it makes life a lot harder so I end up making them a meal their meal tea time and then making mine as well later in the evening um of something else so I make a I worked out the other day I make 10 meals a day it's ridiculous um <coughs> But yeah, so I feel like I haven't really said even what I'm doing. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, that's 
That's all I'm going to do. I'm just aiming to try and eat my three meals a day, healthy snack, healthy meals, and then see where I go from there. I feel like if I say I'm going to do a certain diet or stick to a certain calories, I set myself up for failure because I'll do it wrong one day and then that's it. In my eyes, I've, I've ruined it. Which, yes, I know. If you got a bunch of flowers and one day you're not going to do the whole bunch of weight. Yeah, I get that. I know. So... I am just going to try and do my best oh, they look terrible and that's all I can do all you can do is your best with anything in life really isn't it I think that's that's very well known so that's all I can do I don't want to set myself up for disappointment I just want to try my very best try and lose some weight my legs and knees are very very painful a lot of the time now especially in the morning and at the end of the night at the end of the day i obviously don't want i had gestational diabetes with oscar i had to take fragmin and uh, all sorts okay sammy you really can't salvage this <laughs> i've been trying to salvage this i love it it's the l3 and one mascara and it's um but yes, obviously I don't want to have gestation diabetes. Obviously I've got a young child. And I want to do, well, not just for Oscar, I want to do the best for Alfie as well. And for myself, I want to feel comfortable um, and happy in myself too. I'm not sure if I said actually, uh, Simon posed me and we got engaged um, when I was 12 weeks pregnant with Oscar. So yeah, that's exciting. So obviously I need to plan a wedding at some point, so I will definitely not be walking down the aisle looking like this, to say the least. Um, so yeah, I mean, as I say, I'm just going to try and do my best. I've got a lot of time to plan things and... Make sure I've got the right shopping in, etc, etc. So there's no reason. For me not to be able to do it, basically. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure what all of your new year's resolutions are but i'm not really doing a resolution as such obviously i'm trying to try and lose weight um but other than that i don't really have a res resolution as such but i mean as i say i've got a lot of things to try and sort out i need to well i need to get myself sorted out first with my, regards to my back and all that jazz what's going on with my hair today it just doesn't look right at all i never washed hair the day before and it just doesn't look right i think i'll just pin that um but yeah i think i've waffled on long enough now um so i will obviously be uploading well probably weekly i would say to this channel maybe more if i come up with like some tips or I don't know. I can hardly give out tips when I'm not even doing anything yet. Well, I am. I've had my porridge and all for breakfast this morning. It's 358 calories. Oh, I was going to say, as I said, I'm not planning on calorie counting and stuff. Um, I look a bit more presentable now. Um, obviously, I'm not planning on calorie counting and stuff, but I am using my fitness pal at the moment because I kind of need to see what kind of calories are in, the th in things, I think. Um, just to show myself how badly I was eating before, which is good. Um, but I can't say that I'm going to definitely keep it the whole time. But who knows? It's just one of those things. So, yeah. But if you're all going on a weight loss journey, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you want to and you want to see my videos every week, please subscribe and like my videos and comment. If you want to comment, tell me how well you're doing. Um, and I... I hope you all have the best week I have, but I have the best week and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.